Morning, guys. Sunday. It's like almost August. Was it July 31st? So we're here um, at the lovely Arkansas River here. The town back here is, um, I forgot the name of the town. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, it's uh, Holly, Holly, Colorado. Yeah, so I went in and had a subway, probably one of the best campsites that I've had in a long time. Um, nice to listen to the water flow all night, and um, it is underneath the bridge, but I see the locals look like they might even camp on here and do a little fishing every now and then. Things are going great. It's good to be in Colorado. Although I came into Colorado just on the back roads, there was no hoopla or fanfare. No big fancy, big log. Um, I seen the rookie, you know, he got his picture taken. Uh, he was hiking the highway. If you hike the highway, you see the big log, Colorado. Welcome to Colorado. Hoo yeah. Uh, thing. So we didn't get to see all that. We crossed the prairie like the old days. And we literally crossed the prairie on a very faint road that I actually had to use GPS at times. And so I did confirm that I was on the right road once I got off of it. There was signage there. And so it does appear that that was the official road I was supposed to be on. I'm very sh pretty, pretty sure of that. Um, it basically, it almost felt like he was going across private property. Um, they had like a little gate, little makeshift gate, popped a little wire off, and I just went, kind of went through it like, you know, country boy style, we like, just go through the barbed wire. You, you know how to do this if you're from the country without like, whoa, getting all ripped to shreds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those city boys are laughing at me, but that's, you gotta know how to do it, or like, wow, you get really good. You coast it in up in Elmo, you know, up the hill, and you got to go back to your camper. <laughs> You'll get right where you just, wow, just clear that bad boy, just jump over it. Yeah, grab a T-Post, woo, yeah, because, you know, you try to <laughs> sneak in at night. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Fozzie. <laughs> he remembers those days. <laughs> so, uh, that's what's kind of getting funny, but, um, uh, but it was interesting doing that, um, you know, kind of changes up a little bit, a little adventure, you know, because um, you're like, oh my gosh, is this right? You got to be, you know, but it, it um, they just don't maintain the road anymore. Nobody ever drives it, drives it. It actually, it can flood out when this river like rises. Well, gosh, all this, I'm underwater, like when this thing is really high, you know, uh, <laughs> so um, things are going good on I'm going to be getting my sleeping bag and all here pretty soon, but there's a beautiful little spot. Um, so glad to have probably our second best pairs of shoes we've had on this entire hike. Got us some Sockinies. We appreciate that beautiful blonde for sending those out to us. Um, she's got a friend in the running business. and He's got, thankfully, wide feet. Um, you see how wide those are? Those are uh, 11s. I'm a 10 and a half, but <clears throat> you can wear uh, shoes a half size too long. Uh, they can be a little longer, just not too too short. Oh, and this is our, our beautiful campsite. And so, really nice spot. And so, I'll set this back down real quick. Tell you about Holly. I went into town yesterday. Oh, they got another operational uh, movie theater there. So that was pretty nice. Uh, you know, well, like if they didn't, I don't know, they'd have to drive to... Alaska for the nearest major city to watch a movie out here in these parts. Uh, they tend to be self-sufficient, you know, out here in the, the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Woo, yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> they got to have everything because, I mean, man. <laughs> so I went in there. I was really wiped out. You really push it. There's really, like, hardly no water in between towns, and I was 13 miles, or no, I don't know, but no, it wasn't that bad from uh, the last little town was, I'd have to get out the map, but they had a little city hall, the water's big, a little park I took a break at, I topped up and, you know, just cut enough water, I actually had more water than I needed, it was hot, I'm like, wow, I don't want to be drinking, I want to get in the subway, 
get a cold fountain drink. Um, so I went in there and I ordered my sub and oh gosh, she made the wrong sub. I wanted the six dollar special, the turkey salami, whatever that thing was. I wanted that for six dollars. Well, she misunder, mis didn't hear me right. Made a turkey only. Then she charged me six seventy five. I'm like, no. So then she, <laughs> so then she let me keep the subway. Um, then she gave me the money. I told you you'd have to do the money back if you're going to give me this sub because you're just going to throw it away because I'm going to eat the subs. So thanks to her, really nice. I don't know if that's subway policy, but it was awful nice of her. So wow, we were so full and uh, it was so good to have two foot long subs. We finished a few bites of it off that we had left this morning for breakfast and our cookies. And so thanks again, Robert. He um, got us a few more subs up ahead. He got uh, his continued support and Maxine too. I, I think they kind of in cahoots together on, on, on all that. So um, it allows me to um, since I always make sure that I eat and don't go without and all the trail magic really allows me to really do it big in town. So I had not shot a video in a while so I'll try to start sh shooting more of these. Um, but that's kind of what's going on. Looking forward to getting my sleeping bag soon. Sis is going to be getting it. Um, I got the next few towns. Looks like Cannon City. I'm at 3,300 feet. It was cool. I had my down pants on this morning as I got up and had coffee, but now that I'm moving around and everything, it's okay. Because I don't even, I have my down jacket, and I always have my down pants because they're ultra light, and I hadn't really, first time I had my down pants on, but I have them in case there's a cool front. Well, I don't have a sleeping bag, guys. I got a little fleece throw here, and uh, my bivy. Uh, it was a little cool in my bivy when I woke up, but I was fine in it. But like, you'll wake up and say, oh, I wish I'd have had my fleece on, but I slept fine. We just get in that thing like a sleeping bag. We sewed it up like a little mummy bag, and whoo, four dollars at Goodwill. We're not crazy about the uh, the uh, cheer, <laughs> the cheer. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I think something on here about cheer. What was it? Uh, oh, it's a jam, jam fest. Yeah, we're going to the jam fest, guys. <laughs> Anyway, camouflage would have been nicer. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's it. Um, Pat's doing real good. Um, and so I'll do a quick schmeal on the uh, on the pack. So there's our air pad, 38 liters. It's been going pretty good. The only thing I really long term don't really like about this pack, I would say, is the zippers. They could blow out like, oh, my gosh. Um, and that wouldn't be good because they come all the way down to the side that you, you see. But I'm very careful. I don't try to like, ooh, pull on them and like I'll, 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 I'll grab the pack and I'll pull the things together. I'll take a little tension off the zippers before I zip it. But it's a really good pack. Um, looking to kind of doing a little shakedown. Um, get rid of a few things uh, going into the Rockies. I'm always debating on getting rid of my iPad. I love it. I'm able to make comment, you know, respond to everybody's comments on Facebook about my hike people have and answer questions. So it's nice. I could do without it. But, you know, wow, it would be nice to drop a little bit of weight going. I can't tell you, I'll be climbing mountains all day long, guys, and a pound and a half. Well, not counting the cord, which that weighs something, too, the, uh, the electrical cord for it and the charger. Oh, my gosh, you know. Um, I may, if I do hang on to this thing, I'm going to ditch this little, this little, um, rubber case, uh, iPad case, that thing weighs a, <laughs> weigh an ounce and a half, so um, we'll, we'll, we can do without that, you know, I do like it, I may hang, I shoot, I shoot more videos and I start blogging better, because I haven't been keeping much of a vlog, I've been hike, I'm tired every day at the end of the day, but I know people like to get a video every now and then, so, you know, it's, um, it's kind of what's going on, I'm rambling now, so we're going to shut it down, and uh, pack up before all the locals get here. Because look, wow, this is like their, their local spot. And you can see all these fresh little kitty footprints. It's like, oh my gosh, you're in a minute. The, the, the little swimming hole. Little fuckers will be everywhere. <laughs> we barely must have missed them because we got here late today yesterday. It looked like they was all here yesterday, I mean. Because wow, that's, that's all fresh. So we're going to get packed up and get to hiking. We're out of here, guys. Peace out. God bless America.